Hey all, welcome back to Building Toronto's Regional Rail. If you're not already, consider following us on our other social media platforms and supporting us on Patreon. And of course, subscribe and hit the bell icon so you never miss a video. I also want to point out that the work going on in Toronto is incredibly important, not just in a Canadian, but in a North American context, as Go is going to show us just how a major North American city can transform its regional rail network. This has great relevance to cities like New York, Chicago, and Los Angeles. Today's video takes us to another corridor, and one of the most exciting and substantial projects being undertaken as part of Go RER, now known officially as Go Expansion. We'll be looking at the works going on at the 401-409 tunnel project in northwest Toronto. There's currently a three-track underpass at this site, which passes under Ontario Highways 401 and 409, among the most used expressways in the world, amounting to 21 lanes of traffic at this point. The existing three-track underpass services trains on the Union Pearson Express and Kitchener train services, as well as National Rail via services. In 2019, the UP Express featured bi-directional morning to night 15-minute service frequencies, while the Kitchener line featured hourly weekday service, with Via Rail operating a few services every day. The service Vision calls for a minimum of 15 trains per hour service on the corridor by around 2030, with substantial excess capacity to grow into over time. The existing setup here has a few issues. For one, the corridor is restricted to three tracks, which Metrolink sees as insufficient to support the breadth of train services it wants to operate in the future, including a mix of local and express trains. Furthermore, because of how tight the current underpass is, trains cannot operate through at full line speed. The solution to this problem is a set of two tunnels, which have been sequentially mined out under the highways. Each will carry one track, with the original underpass being converted to dual track with more space for vehicle envelopes. As you can see, the tunnel portals are currently covered as we view them from Islington Avenue, but reports say they are largely structurally complete. As you can see though, substantial work will need to be undertaken to realign the road in the foreground permanently, as well as lay a railbed and track. On the other side of the highway, these new tracks will directly conflict with the single platform for Etobicoke North Railway Station, which will be closed and replaced with the much more substantial four-platform and six-track Woodbine Station to the north adjacent to Woodbine Racetrack and Casino. On the whole, this project and many others are all part of a larger rail project known as the Georgetown South Expansion. This project started by initially converting a largely single-track freight-turned-commuter rail corridor into a wide, four-track capable railway with several modern stations and full-grade separation. The Georgetown South project has been ongoing for years and has seen a phased approach with the first major service expansion happening with the introduction of the UP Express in 2015 for the Toronto Pan Am Games, which took advantage of much of the new infrastructure for the first time. A future video will cover this massive ongoing and painfully underreported project in great detail, so subscribe and hit the bell icon so you don't miss that. With that, thanks for watching today's video. We find the seemingly endless regional rail expansion projects in Toronto deeply exciting, and we have many more videos to come. Stay tuned to the channel for more Building Toronto's Regional Rail, and as always, have a good night.